Oh, I see fishies. Oh, wow. Hello, beautiful fish. Hello, beauty. So my name is Anna Himmler and I'm an associate professor in the biology department and I have the good fortune of being able to take students in the field with my colleagues to have these unique and really fun essential experiences that sort of connect the classroom learning that they do to seeing it and doing it hands-on in the field. My name is Delaney Reed. I'm a senior and I am double majoring in chemistry and biology with minors in philosophy, psychology and health and professional foundations and enhancements. The first week was a lot of um, just hands-on getting to know like the um, ecology of the area. We explored through multiple hikes, learning birding in the region, uh, several different snorkeling trips, going out on the boat, trying to just learn and see as much as possible. So beautiful. <laughs> My name is Chris Walser. I teach in the Department of Biology and I am an ecologist. The course was called Field Biology and the goal was essentially to introduce students to the natural history of Baja and also have students do field research in Baja. As we're going around learning as much as possible, exploring, uh, learning field skills, they're thinking about projects that they might be interested in doing. What do they enjoy looking at? What would they like to learn more? Then the last week, they, students get into groups and they conduct one of their own observational research studies. It was super independent that we got to kind of go and like figure out what was interesting to us and go from there. We got to kind of control where we wanted it to go, ask our own research questions, and so the fact that it was also something that we kind of got to assign for ourselves was also what made it so interesting too. So me and my group did research on the tide pools out there. We just thought the tide pools was a really cool spot to get with the ocean, I mean, we're not by the ocean here, so like work more with like marine animals. You know, usually you look at big system, like kind of ecosystems when you're thinking about it, like people want to go and look at these big like coral reefs and all that stuff, which is also great, but understanding kind of these micro systems too can help us more with the macro systems. So we're learning about it academically and intellectually, but when you're there, when you're hiking through it, when you are out under the stars, when you're in the water, then you're experiencing it vitally and personally in a way that showing them pictures in a PowerPoint or video clips just doesn't do. That's what inspires us and got us into field biology in particular, is our love of being out of doors. And you know, sometimes it's not comfortable. That's part of the experience, right? It might be hot, it might be windy, you might be chilly. It's giving them that vital experience in a personal way. We wanted to look at um, the distribution and species composition of the tide pools and we wanted to see how kind of physical factors and also um, biotic factors, so the abiotic and biotic factors that were contributing to like how the species were being divided up. And so we specifically looked at three zones and we looked at the low intertidal zone, the mid intertidal zone and the high intertidal zone to kind of get an understanding of, you know, what's going on there, what's shaping these communities. There were these little blue button jellyfish that were only found in the low zone and they're so weird and they were little surface, like surface jellyfish. So they needed the wave action to push them around. So that's why they weren't found in the high zone at all because they need that wave action. Just stuff like that, kind of trying to understand all the little critters stories. Like what's going on with them? Why did they decide to camp out here versus on the low zone? We're slowly kind of digging through and revealing like what's going on there. 
It was pretty intensive, but it was also really rewarding too. These longer term three week, very intensive field courses are immersive, right? So they, they live it, they do it, and then they have to deliver on it. So it's not just about hanging out and feeling the waves or the sand or whatever. Um, they have to engage intellectually and think about it. And, and they never fail to impress us with how much they can do. So that's really fun, because we never know quite how it's gonna go and what they're gonna give us till the end. <laughs> it's a way to fuel either a whole new chapter or area or interest for them in a vital way. And it's not that we know what those are gonna be. You know, they might discover they really love looking for these hot springs, right, that we got to check out and looking, you know, snorkeling through looking for fish, or they might really enjoy, you know, hiking along these certain challenging trails. Um, and then that fuels their desire to go out and do that elsewhere and to develop the confidence to do that. That's the hidden benefit is you never really know how it's gonna impact them. Uh, and long-term, you know, we'll find out. <laughs>